Hey girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another video this week. If you're new to my channel, I am Jerry Nicomicea, but all my friends call me G. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face. And if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and come back each week for weekly uploads. So anytime I'm about to go shopping and I know I'm in the mood to spend money, y'all know the vibe I'm talking about. When you just have that itch, like I just want to buy something. I don't know what I want, but I want to buy something. Before I spend a large amount of money I like to go in my closet and see I kind of I call it shop my closet basically I go in my closet I put on a playlist drink a glass of wine and I just go through my closet and see oh my god what haven't I worn in a long time and by my closet being so small I always find things that I haven't worn in forever and I'm like oh my god I forgot I had this so today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the things in my closet luxury items that I just don't wear anymore it's not a specific reason why I don't wear them it's just like they're just not at the forefront of my closet so I just don't go for them no more none of these items are for sale I'm not ready to get rid of anything but I think yeah I, I need to start wearing things like I told y'all in 2021 we were wearing everything so yes these are the items that I just don't reach for anymore and like it's a shame okay so I'm gonna just start about whatever is closest to me these are the Gucci sunglasses and they come in this gorgeous chartreuse case which I love with the baby blue I think this was just such a vibe now I purchased these glasses back when I worked at Saks and at Saks, we have like these discounts where you can get like triple, double, all this type of stuff. So at that point, everybody who work at Saks, girl, we just start buying everything. It's just, we buy stuff that we don't need. But these were on my wish list for the absolute longest. And I can honestly count on hand how many times I wore these glasses. Maybe like five times at the max. Um, I, I completely forgot I had them, like if we're being honest. And they're these oversized gucci sunglasses with the let's see the gucci emblem or sign here on the side now i was going to sell these but i decided not to sell them hold on what is my hair doing girl anyways i decided not to sell them because i feel like i just didn't wear them enough um i paid like a hundred dollars for these and i purchased them when they first came out i purchased them from Saks, and like i said on discount um i think i got like i forgot how much percentage it all was off of these but um yeah these are gorgeous glasses you can probably get them now for maybe 100 150 i believe they retail for like 340 or something and that was cheap for when this is this is before gucci did the price increase so now if we're being honest i would not pay full price for these glasses but they are a very fabulous pair of glasses i feel like i look better with these with my oh girl and one thing about these glasses first of all they give me look at my nose I look like I got a nose job. I hate that part. Like, I like them. I don't buy glasses if they don't make me look bougie. If they're not bougie, <laughs> I'm not wearing them. Like, what's the point of buying them? And I thought these were gorgeous. But they just give me, like, my husband just left me. I'm going through a divorce. I'm in, like, cognito. I don't want nobody to see me. Um, I got a black eye. They're very, very black. Like, the lenses are so black I cannot see. Like, if it's dark, like, you know, on, like, a day when I'm just going to the airport, I'm going to throw some shades on. These are dark as hell. And they're low-key heavy on my nose. I hate the way they make my nose look. But I'm not ready to get rid of them. Like, they're very, very, they're cute. They're very cute. So, we're definitely going to give these girls a chance. So, I'm going to just take them out and leave them on my dresser so I can be forced to wear them. But... If you want these glasses, girl, I would not suggest paying full price for them. I'm sorry. I mean, I think I, with these glasses, I fell into the hype. But me, I love oversized glasses. So I thought these would be like a vibe. Maybe I should have purchased the Celine glasses that I really wanted. But instead, I got these. So hopefully, I'll wear them more now. Now, next item is some jewelry by Gucci. Also, um, first of all, just quick background. If you probably noticed, I am obsessed with butterflies. Butterflies are like my thing. Um, I started this obsession with butterflies last year, around 
Oh, no, not last year. 2019. 2019 is the year that I started my self-care journey. So butterflies was just like, every. I would always see butterflies, always. And I'm like, why do I always see butterflies? It was just kind of like, oh, maybe it's just like the spring, whatever. So one day I was praying and I was just asking God, I was like, God, I really need you to change me. I need you to change me. And a butterfly just swooped across my face his wings literally touched my nose and it just like scared me but it wasn't like a scary feeling like a oh my god I'm about to lose my mind because something just touched me it was like I feel like God just got my attention and then something told me go look up the process of like a butterfly and the butterfly that crossed my face was a monarch butterfly monarch butterflies are my favorite butterflies I think they are gorgeous I have like butterflies all over the place up in here and when I googled the process of like a, the butterfly, their life and everything, it just like spoke to the season I was in. I was changing, like you're always constantly evolving. And I feel like in one stage, season in your life, you can be in a caterpillar stage, you can move to a cocoon, and then as you keep growing, you get your wings. So butterflies, I keep them around me. I wear butterfly rings, necklaces, everything, because they constantly remind me of you still can change. You may be in caterpillar form right now, but your wings will come. You just have to keep pushing through. So on my 27th birthday, this was around the time where I was just like changing so much and I was so into like my growth process. I, my 27th birthday was like a big deal for me because the person, the woman that I had become, I was so proud of her y'all. I was like obsessed with myself in the best way possible so healthy i just was like falling in love with myself so i purchased purchased this gorgeous butterfly ring from the gucci collection that they had let me put it on this way y'all this ring was like my favorite ring i'd be scared to wear it now because i don't want to ruin it and it just has so much like it just means so much to me Look at that. That's, that ring is so gorgeous. Now, this ring has crystals in it. And it has like a gold gunmetal vibe at the back. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, where you at? See, it's like gold gunmetal. And they have these gorgeous, gorgeous crystals. Now, I love this ring. But the reason I don't wear it because I just don't want to ruin it because it means so much to me but I do feel like it's time for me to break it out because right now I'm in a season where I feel like I'm in a caterpillar season and I was so used to having my wings for so long that I kind of forgot what the caterpillar season felt like I feel like if you're not in a caterpillar season you're not growing you always need to find an area in your life where you'd be like where can I be a caterpillar I need to grow because once you get your wings it's like okay you fly away but if you know anything about butterflies butterflies don't last long like they they die I'm not saying you're gonna die but I'm just saying there's always room to grow in one area in a lot of areas in my life I feel like I'm a butterfly but now I'm back in the stage where I'm like oh I've never been here before in this area I need to work on it so I'm a caterpillar and I look forward to becoming going in my cocoon and getting some more wings but I think it's time for me to pull out this ring just to have like a cute reminder like gee growth is sneer and you got this and every time I look at this ring I just y'all it means so much to me and I'm happy I got it now this ring I think it retails for six hundred dollars I got it on sale I paid it's still pricey I think I paid four fifty for it I can't remember it was like four something though but it was worth it because she's a part of my collection I have so much butterfly jewelry but she's definitely a part of collection and I think I may start pulling her out more because she means a lot to me and girl I'm not used to being a caterpillar girl I like being a butterfly but it's okay it's okay next thing I have here is also another Gucci item y'all I was on a Gucci kick like when like a couple years ago maybe 2017 2018 I was obsessed with Gucci my closet is literally filled with Gucci oh my god something just fell and it scared the hell out of me <laughs> my closet was filled with Gucci and I was obsessed so when I saw this brooch I knew I had to have it but girl I literally probably wore this thing once 
it's this gorgeous y'all look how beautiful this is and this also have like really pretty crystals with the aged hardware the aged like bronzy hardware the lighting is not doing nothing for this girl she is like y'all this thing is so pretty and you can just like put it oh it will look really cute with what i have on today huh huh and this top is a top from zara yeah zara it's actually on sale right now i paid full price for it and i got so annoyed so i returned the full price one and i repurchased this one for like half off um i'm gonna see if i can find it and link it down below but this brooch will look really cute with this i put this on a beanie that's the first time i wore it i put it like on a beanie it was really cute oh and i put it on a hat before but i feel like i just don't wear it and i paid full price for this full retail price which was like 450 also dollars and this was like a couple years ago i believe they still have this brooch on gucci.com why do i have a hair here they still have this brooch on gucci.com and yeah i just don't wear her but y'all she sparkles in the sun honey this lighting is just girl not doing it but yeah i don't want it's broke hold on y'all get it get the vibe she's really pretty i wish y'all can see how, how she sparkles it's so pretty but and it's small it's very small but this is the largest size they have they have other colors you can buy it in emerald green they have it in red and the clear crystals were the largest um size even though this is like small um y'all it would look so cute on like a headband it's just a really cute piece that's why i haven't gotten rid of it rid of it yet because i just feel like i haven't wanted enough but i love it this this is back when i was not intentional with my purchases this is back when i was just buying if i like it i buy it like oh whatever i'm buying it i'm not like that no more i'm very like i will sit in the store for an hour and a half drink your champagne and decide if i really want to buy this next thing on this list is a pair of shoes now these shoes when i worked at sex i was just like when they when they first came out my mouth dropped these shoes are gorgeous like I don't know why they they, they kind of hurt my feet but these are a pair of shoes that i would hurt any day for these they're first of all they're gorgeous they're dior and they're these gorgeous dior booties first of all y'all look at that heel i love a shoe that have like just weird and unique things on them and this is just so gorgeous they give you like this old vintage vibe but not really it's just so chic and clap oh my god it would look really cute with what i have on right now y'all the heel is just everything to me i absolutely love these and i'm obsessed but yeah i absolutely love these now the reason i don't pull these out as much as i used to i probably wore these shoes uh maybe twice um one i feel like i they have like this canvas what let me see let me come close now the white part on this shoe is canvas the front is patent leather and the black heel is like covered in like this gold leaf foil type and i love the fact that this right here it comes up my leg so it like hug your leg girl it is gorgeous and they have the tie uh-oh tie you can tie them like this i absolutely love everything about the shoe y'all know i love a good shoe with different contrast and a lot going on and when i saw this i just knew this is a piece that you will have forever now these shoes run very small i got a 40 i could have purchased these in a 41 or 40 and a half i need just a little room I feel like they will stretch out because they are lined with leather in the inside so you can they'll stretch out I don't wear them enough to like break them in or anything these are shoes like I probably wear once a year uh, they hurt my feet but I'm not I, I, I can't get rid of them these are gorgeous like absolutely gorgeous and also once the white part get dirty girl I don't really know how I'm gonna get them cleaned or yeah I, I really don't know 
I love the colors, like the color block. I would have never put the white and black gold, but I would have never put the brown. I absolutely love that. Like, this is a gorgeous shoe. And with this shoe, you can dress it up or you can dress it down. Um, I When I wore these, I dressed it... I, I dressed it down because I wore it with a denim jumpsuit. If I can, I'm going to upload a picture here. I wore it with a gen denim jumpsuit, my Dior bag, some Celine glasses, and yeah, it was it was a vibe. So I dressed them down, but I plan on dressing them up at least once. I'm looking at a dress right here that it will go great with. A dress that I just purchased. These will look really good with that. But yeah, I don't reach for these, girl but these are a good pair of shoes like these are good next on this list is also a pair of shoes now when i saw these shoes also i worked at sax y'all when i worked at sax i was just going crazy okay i was just going crazy you cannot put me in a place where they have like all these luxury items just coming in every single day every morning and you telling me i get a discount you telling me that you are going to give me 40 percent off of whatever i want and sometime like once or twice a year you're going to give me up to 65 to 75 percent off i was buying everything okay so these are a pair of aqua zero sandals now first of all these are some bad ass sandals look at that blue look how vibrant the blue is hold on y'all hold on let me just show you one because i can't do two look at that heel Hold on. The detail on these shoes are so good. And y'all remember maybe like a year and a half, two years ago, the little block heel was like, that was like in. So what I did was I purchased these. And I love how they have, let me show you, the black and white with the blue. The details on these shoes are so, so good. These, you can also purchase these with a regular stiletto heel, which I didn't want those because I just felt like with these, they're so good. And I love the fact that the heel is blocked. I don't think the color is coming off how it should on camera. Y'all, it's so vibrant, so blue. But I love the fact that the heel was this like little block heel so I would be able to wear them like in the daytime just like a casual vibe but dress them up if I need to with the stiletto heels I don't feel like I go enough places to wear wear six inch heels if it's not like a platform or nothing and also these they lace up around the ankle with also the little ball detail on them hold on y'all look how gorgeous the details on these shoes are i love the fact that they did the cobalt blue with the black and white now with these i feel like i don't reach for them as often because for some strange reason my feet had like a little moment where they decide to grow i don't know why i went from a size eight all the way to a size nine and with luxury, well, luxury or European shoes, you have to be very careful because it depends on a brand. The shoe can run small, it can run large. Sometimes it runs half size up, half size down, whatever. With Aqua Zero, I feel like they run um, slightly small. Most luxury shoes run slightly small, especially the cut of the shoe. I could have went up to maybe a 40 or a 39 and a half. They fit me exact, so also with these I don't wear them enough to break them in and right here they have under here is like just this strap as you can see that strap is very tight on my foot so it's a little uncomfortable maybe I just need to pull them out and break them in so yeah that's the only reason I don't wear these but these are some bomb shoes these are so good I love them even the little block heel like I remember that was very trendy I don't really see people wearing the block, the little small block heels no more, but I'm not getting rid of these shoes, girl. These are so good. Now, next on this list, I am kind of ashamed to show you guys these because when these first came out, uh, I was crazy about them and I couldn't find them nowhere, like anywhere. And when I went to New York, they were like, voila, 
here I am. Um, and they are, and I did a video. I actually did a video on these. I'm gonna link the video above. It was my first video during quarantine, and they are the Dior Solites. I don't reach for these glasses, guys. I don't. I actually got them in the black, and I got them in a pink. I don't reach for these glasses. Now, uh, I really don't reach for these. I don't even know why I got them. It was back when I was just reckless, girl. Don't get me wrong, these are fabulous, fabulous glasses and they're very light. That's why they call them so light. It's rare that you can have a pair of glasses this big and they be so light. Now, why don't I reach for these? Um, I feel like I reached for these more when I was a little slimmer. By me gaining a little holiday mixed with quarantine weight, I just feel like they don't look as good on my face. Like, baby, I need my cheeks to be a little chisel for this. Like, and they, they cover your whole entire face. It's a gorgeous glasses pair of shades, but yeah i love the fact that i can wear my lashes with them but i i don't honestly i i i'm not gonna sit there and lie girl i don't know why i don't reach for these i just don't um now these i wanted these more than i wanted the black but i feel like these are weird like they're so weird i don't know why my lashes are not as long so it's easy to wear but i don't know why i don't wear them I have absolutely no idea. Maybe I should. I told myself if I don't wear these maybe this summer or spring, I'm gonna definitely sell these because right now I feel like I'll still get a good price for them. I don't want it to go too far out of style and then they're gonna wanna give me like almost nothing for them. So next we got the Gucci belt. Now I don't reach for this belt as much as I thought I would. I also purchased this when I was at Saks. You probably saw this on my worst luxury purchases. Um, I feel like this belt was a great investment. I actually went to Gucci and one of my friends who worked there, she was like, Jernica, don't you get rid of that belt? Cause I went to Gucci to buy a new belt. I was like, oh, I'm just get a new one that fits. She was like, no, you literally have the OG belt. This is the one that they made when they like first came out. I feel like they've done so much revamping to these belts, but yeah, I'm not going to sell it. I actually today after I finished recording this video, I found she sent me to this place here in New Orleans. There's this man that everybody go to. He cuts belts and yeah, I'm going to go get my belt cut. Ray actually just got his belt cut by the man and you would never know that the belt was cut. He did such a great job. So I'm going to take it to get cut and see if I pull it out. I just feel like it's very trendy. So what I was doing was basically putting it away, let the hype die down and maybe like in a couple years pull it out. But yeah, I, I don't wear this no more. I remember this belt. It was sold out everywhere and then one came available at sex and i was talking to my friend i was like armand i need this belt and i paid like 190 for this belt this belt was retailing for like 500 600 dollars i paid with my sex discount i paid like 190 i believe and yeah so it's like even if i sell it i'm gonna make a great profit but yeah I, I i'm not ready to sell but yeah girl i don't i don't reach for this anymore next i have these gucci loafers these are the brixton loafers you also probably seen these in my worst luxury purchases i feel like i just don't dress like this anymore this is better i use these more when i was like working at sex for like a work shoe i don't and i have like these little pads in here because these shoes are so uncomfortable they're very very flat when i wore these in new york i don't know what i was thinking girl that was the dumbest thing i've ever done these shoes hurt like hell um yeah i just don't wear them but i feel like i didn't i don't want to sell them because i didn't wear them enough and i got rid of when i purchased these i got rid of all of my black loafers i was like i'm gonna just keep these because these are a classic this is a shoe that would never go out of style i can have them when i'm like 85 years old and they're still like a great pair of shoes um yeah and i don't have no more black loafers so let's say if i decide to ever go work at a corporate job with lord jesus i pray that i never have to i would have to yeah wear these or if i get rid of these i have to buy some more but 
I don't know. This is just not my style no more at all. And I don't even know how to wear them no more. Like, I have very flat feet with no arch. So these just make my feet look wide and yeah. Only reason I'm literally keeping them because I have no black. Oh, I have my black uh, Prince Town loafers, but girl, they don't count. That's not like a classic shoe, but if we've been honest, I don't know why I don't reach for these because they're just not my style no more. Moving right along, next thing on this list is my absolute favorite, and it is my baby. Um, This is the Gucci Dionysus, Dionysus, however you want to pronounce it. This is the mini. Now, honestly, I forgot I had this bag. This bag is my baby. I don't think I will ever sell it because this is the first bag that I purchased with my own money for myself. Um, it wasn't like, oh, somebody gave me a gift or it was like a gift from a boyfriend or gift because I'm a baddie. No, it was with my own coin. So me and her have a lot of memories and I just, I don't think I will ever sell it. Um, this is a great bag. I have nothing negative to say about it. I just don't wear it. Yeah, I just don't wear it. I don't reach for it as much. But honestly, right now, I'm not reaching for any of my bags as much. The only bag that I reach for the most, I would have to say my Alexander Wang Rocky Duffel because I don't keep that in the closet. It's kind of like an everyday bag that I just grab when I need to go because that is a great everyday bag. It's like, it's very durable. You can like beat it up no problems and I reach for my Saint Laurent sac de jour the um nanos because they're also not in my closet anything that's really in my closet I don't really reach for it anymore because getting in my closet nowadays it gives me anxiety because my closet is so small it's cluttered and it's just like it's just too much so I try not to go in the closet but yeah I absolutely love this bag I feel like this bag go with everything but I don't reach for it anymore when I first got it I wore it it out and maybe that's another reason why I don't wear it as much because when I first got this bag I just was wearing it so much this was also I have a lot of feelings for this bag because also when I was at Saks I that's when I well no I ain't gonna say that I had a very long very extensive um luxury wish list and this was like at the top of that list I wanted this bag so so bad it's like I couldn't tell you another bag that I wanted more so the fact that I also purchased this bag with my own money it wasn't a gift from nobody or anything like that I yeah she's my baby and I don't I don't want to sell her next on this list I have two pairs of shoes guys also when I worked at sex <laughs> when I worked at sex I y'all when I worked at sex me and my friends literally we just we tried on stuff all day that's all we could do half of the time when people wasn't shopping we're shopping so we was trying on clothes all the time clothes and shoes especially before the store opened honey shoes was lit we were in shoes putting stuff on hold do i need this do i need this and these are a pair of shoes that also when i worked at sex when i saw them i was like ah oh, i need them and i got them in two different colors i'm gonna show y'all the first color y'all know i'm a platform girl what we talking about like y'all know i love platforms these are chloe platform sandals and these are c by chloe yes c by chloe so it's like a brand i believe under chloe um first of all the black and gold that contrast baby baby look at that gold platform that is a good shoe these shoes are so comfortable and they have this let's see string lace up detail so they lace up around the ankle these are a sexy cute pair of shoes for the summertime but i also purchased more chloe shoes and so technically all together i purchased four pair of shoes the dumbest thing i've ever done because i got these in black i also purchased these in this blush suede blush with the same shoe now these are super super cute these are 
one of them a little oh no, i think these are the ones that are a little weird they're they're like a little small yeah these are 39 the other size is 40 so i never reach for these anymore but i also wore them out you may can see they got like some wear to them but i feel like this is such a good bohemian style shoe in the summertime with a maxi dress i have so many maxi dresses that i don't wear this is such a vibe here in new, here in new orleans we always have like festivals and festivals and stuff so this would be like perfect with like a sundress lace up anything that's a platform any lace up baby count g in so let me tell you what i did i purchased both of these shoes so cute i was like oh my god i need them then i see these other chloe shoes and i purchased two more pair in literally the same blush color and black i don't feel like one in my closet to get them but yeah and but the other shoes they're flat lace up um they're like a gladiator type sandal those are gorgeous like oh my god they're so gorgeous like first of all the quality they're well made but i didn't need four pair of shoes i didn't need them like at all and yeah but these I don't feel like I've even worn these enough. The black still, like look at the bottom of these shoes. I pretty much didn't wear them. I think I wore these to like lunch and it was from the car to the restaurant. So even thinking about how much money I spent just being reckless and that's why my closet looks the way I do because I, I told y'all I have this problem when I like something I buy it in multiple colors. So in my closet you may find the same shoe in three different colors it's it's just insane it's crazy now last but certainly not least if you watch my worst luxury purchase list you also seen this bag i'm going to just go ahead and link the worst luxury purchase here at the top now my worst luxury purchase list was all things that i probably purchased from Saks. this bag when i worked at Saks, i wanted this bag so so bad guys and now it's just like big bags are not popular i'm basically talking about the celine phantom so i've decided to i was like you know what this bag i didn't get to wear it it's in perfect condition i'm not about to sell it because the price that the, the celine phantom is going for right now is crazy this is like a three thousand dollar bag and people are reselling this bag for like eight hundred dollars so i i can't lie on poshmark one day i was just like oh this bag is just taking up so much room in my closet that i need to sell it i sold it for eight hundred dollars and i instantly canceled the order that lady was pissed but girl this bag is practically practically brand new so i decided to basically revamp this bag and i love it it is so me the artist that how i found okay so basically let me show you guys first because I'm, I'm getting too excited okay so this is my revamped phantom look at this it has butterflies on it y'all i am i was hyped so basically i found this artist you know jennifer williams from basketball wives i believe she posted this bag that somebody painted for her i tagged the person it was like her best friend painted so i emailed her i'm like oh my god could you revamp a bag for me i sent her the bag um everything she was very professional i believe i paid like i can't remember how much i paid because i did this like a couple months ago she, i just know she was very professional i shipped her the bag she painted it within like i believe two weeks maybe she sent it back and i am so happy now with this bag this i use my celine phantom as like a travel bag an overnight bag a carry-on i don't really wear it as a handbag no more so first of all let me get, let's get into the details look at the details she did a great job look at that butterfly she did such a great job especially like this hold on y'all i'm trying look at the details on this bag it is like amazing and when you go to the turn into the back it says bag addict which i am a bag addict honey i love handbags so yes look at this she did such a great 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 job with this bag and i am just like obsessed i am obsessed with this bag so now it's just so me yeah, I told y'all that I'm obsessed with butterflies. And this right here is a monarch, monarch butterfly. 
and she just did such a great job like the like oh hold on, I have to come close let me see y'all look at that I'm just like obsessed everything about it I just think she did a great great job and now I feel like it's more personalized because before I thought this bag was just super boring even right now y'all holding this bag this bag is so heavy but it's big enough to carry everything so I plan on once we start back traveling once I get on the flight and go to Tulum like everybody else on Instagram I plan on using this as a carry-on this is gonna be like my overnight bag now like a little when I just need to throw stuff in it laptop everything that needs to go with me yeah this is what I'll be carrying I, I'm obsessed and I'm gonna um link all of her information down below and yeah definitely reach out because she is so professional i have absolutely nothing negative to say i'm so happy with it and i actually have a couple more things that i want to send to my girl to give me a good spoofing because sometimes we have things in our closet that it just needs like a little extra love like a revamp so i'm happy that i did that to the bag because i love it so yes guys that's pretty much all that i have for this video just from holding that celine bag y'all my arm is burning okay but um yeah these are all the luxury items that i just don't wear no more and sometimes i feel like i waste my money but i'm so happy that i am like very intentional with the way i spend and just because you can buy it don't mean you should buy it just because it's on sale does not mean you need it and i've definitely learned my lesson because and i'm one of them people when i have something i'm like but what if i get rid of it and i need it one day <sighs> just dumb okay so yeah i'm not doing that no more but if you enjoyed this video like share subscribe come back each week for weekly uploads and comment down below and let me know what have y'all purchased and you're like girl what, what what you was thinking let me know because i know i'm not the only person out here what well, used to be just spending money recklessly so that's all i got for you girls and i'll see you in the next video